Another type of ice table problem that you'll encounter involves coefficients. If your reaction that you're dealing with has coefficients, those coefficients need to be uh, carried through into your ice table as well. So far, all the ones we've looked at have all been one-to-one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one -to -one ratios. But if you don't have a one-to-one -one ratio, that coefficient needs to be represented in the ice table as well. So here's an example. The equilibrium constant for this reaction, H2 plus I2 is in equilibrium with 2HI. And I'm telling you that the equilibrium constant is 54.3 at a given temperature. And I want to know what are the equilibrium concentrations if we begin with 0.24 molar concentration of H2 and I2. So that's what we're beginning with. We don't know any information about the amount of HI. So here is my ice table. Initially, the concentration of H2 is 0.24. Initially, the concentration of I2 is 0.24. And since we don't know any information about HI initially, we're just going to assume that it's zero. Now we need to figure out what the change is going to be. Now this is where we have to be careful, okay? Because the coefficient here is 2, this is going to go up by 2x. This is going to go down by x. This is going to go down by x. We don't know what x is yet. But this is going to go up by 2x. Okay, so my point here is that watch those coefficients. If there had been a coefficient of 3 right here, this would go down by 3x. If there had been a coefficient of 5 here, this would go down by 5x. If there had been a coefficient of 8 here, this would go up by 8x. Okay, so any coefficients you have need to be carried through in your ice table. So at equilibrium, we're going to have 0.24 minus x, 0.24 minus x, and then 2x. So now all we need to do is solve for x using our equilibrium expression and the value of k that we were given. It's just regular old normal algebra from here. Okay, one more thing to watch out for. Think back to how we write an equilibrium expression. It's concentration raised to the coefficient. Right? Since the coefficient was 2, we can't forget to square this. Okay? So remember, if the coefficient had been 5, this would be to the fifth. But because the coefficient was 2, it's squared. Okay? So that 2 gets distributed both in your ice table and also when you write your equilibrium expression. So be really careful about that. All right? So when we plug in our value, 2x quantity squared over 0.24 minus x quantity squared. Again, when both the numerator and the denominator are both being squared, you can take the square root of both sides. However, if just the numerator is getting squared and the denominator isn't, you got to do it the long way. So just be careful. This is only a shortcut you can make if both the numerator and the denominator are being squared. But since they are, I can take the square root of both sides to solve for x. So the square root of 54.3 is equal to 2x over 0.24 minus x. And now I just do some rearranging. All right. This quantity times itself gets quantity multiplied over here. And then I say 2x is equal to this portion, and then I rearrange it and solve for x. So x is equal to 0.189. If, by the way, you're getting lost in the arithmetic, you can email me, you can download the algebra review file from um, D2L, you can also go to chemistry tutoring and uh, have someone help you with the arithmetic. And now we just plug in to our ice table to get our equilibrium concentrations. So at equilibrium, those are my, those are my concentrations of H2 and I2, and that's my concentration of HI. And I'm now done.